Yeah, I haven't seen Batman Ninja. All right, all right, all right. Chris T versus Chow Hai. Chris T won first round against Fudo. I think a lot of people uh, were kind of doubting him on that one. I thought he had a pretty good chance. I think stylistically he matches up well there. This is not an easy matchup for Ken, huh? You kind of get, you don't have the firepower on the ground like Cammy does, right? She has just these really, really great limbs. And a lot of this is Ken having to make really, really clutch decisions, like with your back to the wall right here on defense. And also in terms of playing kind of uh, fearless in the neutral, right? You're not going to win on the ground by playing slow and honest. You have to be risky in a kind of matchup like this, right? Yeah, clean DP. You notice that during this block string that Chris is blocking right here, he's just holding back. To, and then he low blocks right after this when Shao Hai sees that he's just holding back. Walking back here is how he creates the space that Shao Hai is forced to upper, or, uh, jump dive kick here, right? If you're just uh, crouch blocking the whole time, then Cammy's just going to like maul you. Yeah, that was a good buffer. Oh, man. Well, that worked out for Chris. Yeah, this actually worked out okay for Chris. Uh, despite he tried to he whip punishes here. Perfect spacing. Misses that. I'm, there's no way to really time that there. You just kind of have to guess what they're going to do. Da jab, down, jab. Drill doesn't work. Yeah, it didn't reach. Back throw will kill. Yeah, he tried to bait the throw because he expected Shao Hai to be like, all right, the throw will kill me. Delays the V-reversal, so it's side switch. Yeah, that was well played. All of that was because Shao Hai cornered him early by winning on the ground, and then Chris T did medium kick, heavy kick, hit confirm, and created space. I think a lot of this round is going to be, the, yeah, you see this? You see this is the exact situation where the last game started? Christy has to win right here. If you don't win right here, then this round is going to be really tough. Unless you get, like, one good V-Trigger activation. Yeah, I'll show you an example of Cami pressure. Yeah, not quite dizzy. Good delay. EXDP. Nice. That was a really good delay from Chris, right? Same situation we talked about before. You have to survive that. Catches a meaty. This time, run up, wait, delay. Right? Clip, counter hit, catch the, the throw tag, catch the button. That was good from Chris. That's the kind of round you have to play against Kami. I think you know when you're fighting against her that you're probably not going to win in this range. This range is really hard to win. Your only goal is that she gets antsy with dive kicks that you uppercut or that when she pushes you to the corner, you survive whatever the situation you're push, uh, pointed in is, right? What I mean about Cami mauling you is when she has pressure like this up close, right? If you don't walk back between her buttons, she's so plus that she'll just like button, walk, button, walk, button, and she'll just kind of maul you all day. If you don't like create some space or backdash or try something, then a lot of the time she ends up just staying in your face for a while until you guess wrong. Really, really good players are much better at dealing with that kind of scenario, though. Oh, no hit confirm on standing medium kick. That could have been the start of the end of the round, right? Crouching medium kick run. Uh, has worked twice now. Shaha hasn't checked it. He's usually pretty good at that. Got him. This is good damage. Yeah, I like that dash up. Chris did... Uh, see, the last time in this scenario, right? He did crouching medium kick run a couple of times. This time he walked back, and I think this is one thing Chris is really good at. Uh, he did the same thing against Fudo when Fudo was trying to wait and see what he was going to do. Walk back and then suddenly dash forward. Shao Hai was like, is he going to run? Is he going to... And then he just dashes in his face, counter hit. Uppercut. Yeah, that's that's like what you have to do with this in a matchup like this is uh, Ken, right? You have to make her uncomfortable just standing there and playing the ground game where she will win, right? She's going to beat you on the ground. It's pretty hard to win just playing like slow footsies against this character. So yeah, that's why you see Chris dashing. Yeah, down jab. He tried to walk back, right? That's the thing. Is that she's plus enough here that it doesn't matter. But after you block the jab, notice that Chris, he blocks this. And then he tries to walk back, right? In between the buttons. Because he wants to create space. But she's plus enough there that it doesn't matter. But that's what he's trying to do to escape situations where Shahai just does this, right? Mauls him all day. Take little steps back in his pressure so that you can get some space. Nice. Yeah, this is good corner carry. Not dizzy. This is this is good for Chris. You actually didn't want that uppercut to dizzy. That was a good jab uh, check from Shahai. He saw the same thing from Christie last time, right? 
walked back a little bit and then suddenly dashed. It's the same kind of timing he did before. I think that's why Shahai was ready. Yeah, he missed like two things there. I think Chris T will uppercut you if you jump. Probably, right? Wow. That was a good try. If that hit, yeah, he would have he would have done a ton of damage. Maybe killed him. Oh my. He should have died right there. Got him. That was really patient of Xiao Hai. I think he knew that Chris T was probably going to be ready for an uppercut. So he was just willing to play the ground game. And uh, he just waited and reacted, right? It's a good, that's a good way to play this kind of a matchup if you have the reactions of someone like Xiao Hai. You know Chris T is going to try to walk back and whiff punish now. Yeah, it's hard. That button standing medium kick is really good. Oh, man. Yeah, I think EX Drill is a really good... Uh, what's it called? It's a really good anti-fireball move, but the diff the problem is you have to dash up, manually time this meaty, which he misses. And also it side switches you a lot of the times, which means that you don't always have corner position. So it's good, but it, you know, not without its issue. Yeah, that was, that was a lot of damage off that crush. Wow, he caught them. He uh, caught the counter hit, but he was already committed to the throw. There are situations like that where you want to set up a throw and you just don't expect them to get hit. Wow, back, back strong. Yeah, delays the V reversal. Ken's V reversal is really fast, right? He has really fast V reversal, and all of the super fast V reversals will keep you standing when they hit. They don't knock down, so that's why you can set up stuff like back strong run. That's a negative though, so he was ready. An uppercut, yeah, he should be dead. This is what we were talking about last time when uh, Shao Hai had like that moment where he didn't jump in the clutch, right? But this is what walking back out of Cami's pressure gets you. The Cami player will feel like, okay, you know, strong, Chris T challenges. He's, he's going to walk back after this to create space. Shao Hai gets pushed out by Chris T's challenges and is like, all right, I got to jump. And then he's ready. What I mean by manually time the media is that there are situations where you have like an auto setup. Like, okay, after this knockdown, if I dash and do this, it's the media against quick rise and back roll, right? But there are some situations where you just have to like eyeball it or feel it. And that those situations is very easy to miss something. Even if he tried to dive kick, it would have lost to the uppercut. Man, stand like kick buffer on the dash was good. We talked about that situation a lot, right? Situations where um, when you get knocked down, all you're looking for is if your opponent's going to dash forward or not after the knockdown. Right, you're just sitting there, you're like, all right, I'm knocked down, I'm chilling. If he dashes forward, I know he's negative, so I'm going to check. That was a good example of one of those situations. Yeah, he was a little too far for fierce counter hit. I think crouching medium kick would have been fine, but... Yeah, he just dashed up at the same time Chris ran, so... It's kind of like they both did the same thing at the same time, right? Wake up button. Shao Hai, I, I feel like in this round, has recognized that he's got to be uh, a little bit more proactive. Because he was kind of waiting around the last two games, and Christy, he smoked them for it. He was just unpredictable. Doesn't spend it. Got him. That was a good little stagger, right? Christy has been walking back in his pressure a lot. So, down jab, walk up, right? Christy tried to walk back, caught him low, clean confirm. That was good. Nice block. Dang, he didn't get the punish he wanted. EX, yeah. Watch the dash. Yeah, that's what Shao Hai is looking for here. <laughs> yep, that's, you could feel it, right? Shao Hai was only looking for the dash. As soon as this happens, right? Block, right? You're willing to take the throw. Push back to this range. Shao Hai is only looking for the dash. Right, he blocks this here. He's just waiting. Waiting for the dash. 
There it is. He's just ready. That was good. That was really good uh, from Shanghai to just wait. Right? He, he's seen that situation enough against Chris to know if he waits, he's going to dash. How's life? I'm good, Ancient Ghost. Even better now that Hoodie Jamron. What? Also got a new PC. Feels good, man. You changed your name from Snail Music? All right. Well, uh, congrats on the new PC. You know, Christmas time, getting upgrades on computers or new, new like consoles or new games, that always feels so good, doesn't it? It feels so good. When I built my last computer, it was like the best feeling in the world. The first time I powered that bad boy up, I was like, oh man, this is the future. <laughs> I've, I'm so powerful. Yeah, walk back again on the pressure. Now, actually, because their crouching jab is zero, you can just walk back out of the throw like every time. Boom, back strong buffer. Yep, the walk back. This is probably the most important thing about this is just constantly walking back. And if Shahai is not going to clip him low for it, then, you know, there's really no reason for Chris not to just commit to walking back out of the pressure. He's playing the matchup really well. It's not an easy matchup, though, right? So, like, that's why it's it's impressive. He's just looking for the dash. Yep, that was really, really, really smart from Chris. Shanghai is waiting for the dash. He's seen walk back dash a lot. So, Chris T walks up into strong. Shanghai thinks he sees a dash. Counter hit, confirm. Yeah, baits the throw. That's a straight 50 50 when you block crouching jab between throw and no throw, right? Unless you're willing to DP, but. That loses to baiting throws, which is why, you know, it's not always the best idea. Oh boy. Side switch? Maybe EX drill? No, he just took the, he just took a lot of damage. Oh man, he got clipped by the fireball. That's, that sucks. Normally, when you block crouching medium kick, you want to... Oh, wow, no punish? Chris T is going to win this round. As soon as he missed that, damn, you knew it was over, right? Thunder kick, crouching medium kick, Tatsu, no punish? Smoked. Oh no, I didn't expect that. All right, it got me. Shanghai is so mad at himself. Oh man. <laughs> Poor Shanghai. I I didn't know that that's what happened there. It happened. It's unfortunate. Whew. That was rough. Yeah, that babe, don't worry about Shanghai. That babe jacket he's wearing worth like two thousand dollars so he's fine 